Welcome to the very first European event of D23 here at Disneyland Paris. I am currently at Disney's Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel. You can see the beautiful grand finale 30th anniversary background there. I'm in the convention center as you can see over here. You might even be able to see Goofy over there. So I've had a lovely fun pack morning already. It's only about 10.30. I have met Goofy, which we're going to get to in a second. But before all this, I hope you're excited about this video because it's going to be a very, very jam-packed video. Two-day event where we get to do loads of things, loads of rides, loads of special things like meeting characters and we've got a gala night tonight as well. So come along for the journey. That's right, so as I mentioned, this is the very first D23 event here at Disneyland Paris and I had to attend it. I've been a D23 member for about two or three years now. I think I became a member in 2021 and yeah, I really had to come. Of, of course, with the Deming Disneyland Paris and how much I love it. I want to check it out, see what the event is like and also hopefully show you guys as well. So if you guys ever decide to become members, you can see what kind of events you might get if they ever decide to do another one in Europe. But let's go to my meet with Goofy now because <laughs> It's always been my dream to meet him in his 30th outfit, and I just did it. Hello, Lucy. How are you doing? You alright? Oh, you're so cute. Should we get some photos? Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello.
I can just go to the annual pass queue. But of course, because it's a D23 event, it's a little bit different than I have a D23 ticket, which doesn't allow me to go to the annual pass queue. They, they probably should have allowed that, but they didn't, so I had to go through the normal queue, and it was insanity. It took a long time. So by the time I got here, they wanted you to be here at the latest, at like 10.45. I got to the park at like 10 minutes past 11. So. I didn't really get to actually come to the reserved area for Dream and Shine Bright. I actually just spoke to a couple of cast members from D23. They were nice about it. Um, they tried to see if you know, they could do anything. The reserved area is just here though. And to be honest, I've watched the show plenty of times from the same area. It's literally in the area where you can kind of see the podiums where all the cast... Oh, hello! How are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. We're, we're off to, we're off to um, the, the Cinderella lunch with the princesses. Oh, nice! Our little one is sick. It's her birthday. Oh. There she is, actually. Oh, hello! But for now, let's have a look at this beautiful castle again. The beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle. It is 31 years old today, officially. Officially 31 years old. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the day. I've got lunch at Watts. So depending on what group you're in, and my group, I'm uh, the Cheshire Cat Group B uh, for my lanyard. I'm going to be dining at Waltz for my lunch, which I'm very excited about. The other option would have been Auberge. And I think I prefer Waltz. The food at Waltz is better, in my opinion. Although Auberge has really good food too. Um, so yeah, you kind of got one of one of each, depending on your group number. Uh, I have a friend who's actually dining at Auberge, so maybe you'll see her later on. She's a German YouTuber, Disneyland Paris YouTuber. So maybe we'll talk to her at some point today. Well, it's been about half an hour since I last spoke to you. I actually spent that half an hour filming another video, which is already up, so you've probably already seen it. If not, I'll leave it down below. It's a full look at the new 30th anniversary range that was released today on the 12th of April. 2023 but uh, Dream and Shine Bright is the next showing at 12.25 is meant to be starting very very soon and actually oh hello <laughs> um, so lovely meeting you guys even if it's just a little way from a distance but um, yeah Dream and Shine Bright should be starting very very soon and this location here the area just in front of Discovery Arcade normally is quite quiet and at the moment even though the show is meant to start in about five minutes there's nobody there so I thought because we kind of missed out on watching me in that reserved area which is literally in Central Plaza which I've watched it many times before and I would recommend seeing it there if you can just get there early I think we're just going to be watching it here today because I want to just wave at Goofy and Pluto hopefully because we met them earlier so we might as well you can see the floats getting ready up there backstage actually and the time at the moment is 12.19 so literally in about six minutes this should be starting and only a couple of guests waiting at the moment What a beautiful day it is. Look at the sky. I didn't expect there to be blue skies. I mean, we do have some clouds and there is a chance of rain later on in the day. But at the moment, it's lovely and I'm making the most of it. I've also got myself, of course, a hot chocolate. Really love the hot chocolate here at Disneyland Paris. It is pretty basic, but it's delicious. So I'm just going to enjoy my hot chocolate with this wonderful view of the gazebo. As I'm sat here, I also thought I'd have a look at the wait times on the app. Just to see how busy it is. Phantom Man is at 25. Big Thunder is only at 15 minutes, which isn't actually too bad. Indiana Jones is 40 minutes, so Lord have mercy. 
Um, what else have we got here? Pay de Conta for 20, Casey Jr. 30. It is a pretty busy day when these rides have like quite a weight. Uh, Carousel is 20 minutes, Autopia 35, Peter Pan's flight of course 45 minutes which again not too bad. The cool thing is that as part of the D23 event we've been given uh, premier access for both days so today and tomorrow. Tomorrow's mainly in the studio spark, today's obviously in this park. Look how cute Minnie looks by the way. I'm kind of glad I got these tickets because of course normally I have my annual pass so I don't actually own any of these cute 30th anniversary tickets. Oh, look, you can see the wonderful Main Street vehicle going past as well. And actually, Goofy and Pluto are doing meeting weeds over there. Not in their 30th costumes, just in their regular outfits. But yeah, because I've, I've got these uh, Premier Access cards as well, I'm trying to see if, um, you know, what attraction I want to use them on. I can use them as, on as many attractions as I want to. But the thing is, the day is so jam-packed anyway that I'm just not sure <laughs> when I'm going to have the time to do some of these rides. But hopefully we'll be able to go on at least one ride, maybe Big Thunder Mountain. I'd love to do that. But for now, it's time to go and meet up with the rest of the D23 team. Group B because we've got lunch at Wox. It's uh, close to 1:45 p.m. That's when their reservation is. Looking forward to it actually. It's been a while since I've been to Wox, and my last experience wasn't the greatest in terms of service. The food is still good, and so yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully, the service will be better. It's such a beautiful day today. <laughs> And a great atmosphere as well. I think most of the group are here actually. With me, it is currently 1.40. We've got about five minutes until the D23 group leaders, I suppose. Hopefully, should come and take us in. And here we are, straight on in. We don't even have to wait for our reservation to be called or anything. We're just going up. Bonjour. Merci beaucoup. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing where we end up sitting, actually, because I think we're all going to be at the same table. So this whole room has more or less been reserved for D23 members. We're at a table four, actually close to the window, so if Dream and Shine Brighter happens, we might be able to see some of it. But yeah, excited. Anyway, we've got the menu. I do have a full vlog of this restaurant if you haven't seen it, but I thought I'd have a quick look through it with you as well. I love all the lovely historical photos they've got going on. Waltz menu, 55 euros. If you want wine included, it'll be 75. But I'm normally going to go for the chicken pot pie, and I think I'm going to go for that again today because it is lovely. For my main course though, I'm going to have something different today for once. I'm actually going to go for the mac and cheese because I've heard good things. Rogan actually from Rogan Tate, uh, she had it when she was here and she said it was lovely. Normally I go for the chili con carne, I would recommend that. But I think I'm in the mood to try something new today. And then with dessert, we'll have to wait and see. The bread rolls have arrived. Of course we've got four on the table and I'm charging my phone at the moment. Also everyone on my table has been amazing. Do you want to say hi? Hello, Hi. how amazing are her ears? <laughs> Phenomenal. You. you made them yourself, right? This part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you got the bow as well. Yeah. Very cool. Do you want to say hi as well? Hi. Amazing. <laughs> Will I dire bonjour? Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And just like that, our starter has arrived. This is the chicken pot pie. I've had this before a couple of times. It is beautiful. Comes with a side of vegetables, carrots. It's almost like a slaw, coleslaw type thing. You've got this cute little pastry in the shape of Mickey. And the chicken pot pie is in there. It is lovely. I cannot wait to dig in. Like I said, I have tried this before and it is really nice. I like how it comes presented as well. The pastry is lovely, isn't it? It's cute. It's not only delicious. <laughs> Thank you mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, I would recommend that. For my main course, I ended up actually going for the um, the fish rather than the mac and cheese. I had a change of mind last minute before the waiter came, so we'll see how that is. And just like that, we have our main course. So this is the poisson, the fish option. Looks really good. It comes with a side of rice, and I think there's some corn pieces in the rice. Be interesting to see what the sauce is like. I love the decor of the actual plates as well. So yeah, two of us have gone for fish. One person's gone for chicken, and then we've got a chili on the table as well. I do recommend the chili. But yeah, I'm excited to try this for the first time. Before I have my uh, lovely, delicious fish here, I thought that you know a fact that um, I was told. So this fish, apparently you can only get it from one place in France. Lac NC. NC in uh, the region of Savoie. Yes, so very, very special. I'm very much looking forward to it. The fish is delicious, really good. Really, really lovely. The sauce as well, can't quite tell what it is. Also the fish has a little bit of a spice to it. It has some heat, but it's beautiful. Okay, so I wanted to show you this lovely looking dessert with the cute Mickey on top. This is a tarte or citron, so like a lemon type of cake. It looks really delicious. <laughs> and I went for my normal dessert here, which is the giant cookie, and it really is giant. I mean, look at the size of this. It's huge, this is actually vegan as well. It's got some chocolate chips in it, some almonds, I think, some nuts, and then it's, uh, I actually don't know, I can't remember what the ice cream is, but 
It is a plant-based dessert and it is very, 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 very delicious. And we've also got the celebration cake here for the 30th anniversary, which looks beautiful. Oh, love that. Love the 30th design. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Right. For la petite, let's eat. Okay, with that, we are now leaving our lunch. We were actually sat in Fancyland, which was cool. I don't think, the, I don't remember the last time I sat there. It must have been in 2017 or something. But, um... Ah, <laughs> d'accord. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the restaurant very quickly as well. You've probably seen it in the vlogs, but this restaurant is beautiful. It's got a beautiful decor. I was told to come and show you some of the other dining rooms as well. But like I said, I'm going to leave the link down below to my Waltz restaurant review that I have as well. That's definitely a lot more in detail. Uh, I was sat there for the review, so you can check that out. I had a lovely, lovely window seat. But yeah, every dining room, look at that. Look at the ceiling. I think this is meant to be Discovery Land. Very cool. Anyway, let's head on out. I had lovely company, by the way, at my table. I was sat with two Americans, a couple from America, Salt Lake City, they said they were from. Big Disney fans, they've been to every single Disney park in the world. The dream. Um, I asked them loads of tips about Tokyo Disneyland because obviously that's the only resort I've not been to. But one thing I love that they said is that despite having been to all of them, their favorite is actually Disneyland Paris. And they said that the Big Thunder Mountain is the best Big Thunder Mountain of all, so amazing. I agree with them. Obviously, I've not done, I don't even know if they have a Big Thunder Mountain in Tokyo, but of all the other ones that I've done, the one in Paris definitely is the best. And I also had a French guy sat next to me, so I'm wondering if I've got any, anything on my face now. But yeah, lovely French guy as well. And uh, he, uh, he didn't speak much English, and the American couple didn't speak French. So in some ways, I kind of became like the translator in between them, which was good for my French. It helped me practice my French a bit, but it was also a little bit stressful. But um, yeah, this is why I love languages because in certain circumstances like today, I was able to help people connect just by being able to speak both languages. So that was really good and he was really lovely as well, the guy. He's the one who told me to go and show around um, the restaurant too. Uh, he loves Waltz and actually, I have to say, Waltz was lovely today. Service was amazing, much better than the service was last time I ate there. You can check out the vlog from that as well. It was in December of 2022. Uh, the food was good, now I've tried a two main plates from this new menu at Waltz. The fish which I had today, which was delicious, really, really good. I'm glad I tried it. And the chili con carne I really like. Next time I'll have to get the mac and cheese. I will get the mac and cheese one day. But somebody on my table actually had the chicken as well, and she said the chicken was lovely too. So it sounds like Waltz just is really good when it comes to food quality. But I am now heading into Frontierland because we have the Lion King show booked in about 20 minutes time again like priority viewing section so as i said today is very go 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 it's a very full-on day and tomorrow i think will be even more full-on because we've got a couple of tours backstage tours with a couple of imaginings which i'm so excited about I'm not sure how much i'm gonna be able to show that but keep watching i'll tell you about it anyway you can see the standby line to get inside the theater for the lion king the frontierland theater it says that it's a uh, more or less completely full unless you have a reservation so i just need to go and find oh there they are the dewey 23 cast members they've got the sign up let's go and find them they've got different show times for uh, the spectacle and the 1551 350 is the one that we're going to be seeing i love this show i have seen it a few times before and i think it's one of the best shows here at disneyland paris look at the queues though lord have mercy i would recommend getting here early especially on a busy day like today obviously 12th of april is a full day in the park uh, there's no tickets left you can't come in now um, so it's as packed as it can be I guess and as you can see loads of people here so if you want to make sure you make it inside the theatre come about 45 minutes early bonjour bonjour merci here we are inside the auditorium and I am so excited guys, I'm so excited to be seeing this show again and hopefully from a very good view too. You can see they've got a number of rows reserved here, kind of goes up I think and it's all more or less in the middle section so pretty fantastic view of the show. And look at the crowds of people coming, it's currently about 15 minutes, maybe even 10 minutes before showtime and they are still trying to pack this theatre as many people as possible. <laughs> pour découvrir notre spectacle, le roi lion et les rythmes de la terre. Merci. Liking the rhythms of the pride, I think, is the, the English version. The rhythms of the pride lands will begin in just a few moments. Just a few moments. Thank you. Okay, so you've probably seen me vlog this show a number of times. I have seen it a few times before. So we're going to go to a very quick, short highlight. Hopefully not any longer than a minute and a half. And I'll see you after the show.
the Lion King was lovely. A really fantastic show here at Disneyland Paris and it's free to watch. Anybody can watch it, just make sure you get there early. But seeing as we are still in Frontierland and I've got about half an hour until I need to go to the next place, which is Stars on Parade, we've got a private viewing for that as well. I thought I would give Thunder Mountain a go. Um, I'm not sure how long the queue is, but it's it's long, like Lord have mercy. The regular standby queue looks to be, I would say at least an hour long, but of course with the little ultimate, um, ultimate premier access thing, the heart the cast member just told me to go straight on. So we'll see how that works. Lord have legit mercy guys. So turns out with my ultimate premier access pass that I have been given thanks to the D23 event, I'm in a completely separate queue. Like there's literally no one in front of me. It's a direct, actual director walk onto the ride. You can see the train over there. You guys have been watching my channel for a while. You know that ever since Premier Access became a thing, I haven't bought it once, not even once. Even just to do an experiment, I've decided I'm not really for it. I don't like the idea of paying so much money just to go on rides. But obviously this was just included in the, in the event thing. So, um, now I'm having second thoughts on it. Maybe it is worth it if you get to literally go on ride so quickly. Who knows? Okay, well, we're about to go on and the whole thing took about maybe three minutes altogether. Guys, it started to rain. Oh my god, it is still, it's still raining pretty badly outside. It's been about five or ten minutes since that <laughs> hilarious episode on Big Thunder Mountain. It literally only rained for like five minutes and then it was, it was finished. But um, <laughs> it was hilarious, it really was quite fun. I don't think I've ever experienced that on a Disney ride before. My friend Marie and I, when we went to the Efteling a couple of years ago, we had that on one of their roller coasters where it started raining really heavily when we were on one and it was again quite painful. But um, with that being said, we are now waiting for the parade to start. The main parade, daytime parade, which is Stars on Parade and has been Stars on Parade since 2017. For the 25th anniversary of Disneyland Paris, that's when this parade started. It's a good parade and the reserved, I guess, private area, viewing area is the same that is uh, for annual pass holders as well. So if you've got an infinity pass, you can sometimes book to, you know, have your spot in this exact same location. It's right by the castle stage, kind of at the entrance of Discoveryland on the way to um, Fantasyland if you know what I mean. It's nice, it's a nice space, there's loads of um, space to chill as well. I'm actually currently sat um, and obviously the stage will be, the st sorry the parade will be going on over there. So once the parade starts I might stand or I might just chill. I've seen this parade many times, I just wanted to <laughs> calm down a little bit as you can see I've got my hat on as well. Annoying I don't have a hood today, although I got a hoodie, I bought a hoodie. Make sure you watch my merchandise video that I did a couple of days ago, it probably will be on YouTube now. Because yeah, they have a new range of 30th anniversary merch that was out today, and I did buy a hoodie. At least I have that with me for later tonight.
though it's a little bit later, it's actually 6.30 p.m. I am now back at the Marvel Hotel, New York, Disney's Art of Marvel, because we have a gala dinner tonight, uh, starting very soon, I think. I'm very excited about it. Apparently, it's going to be a surprise as well. I'm very tired. I'm also very full still from the Walt meal that we had just a few hours ago. So who knows how much I'm going to eat at this gala. But it's meant to be, well, they did say that you could dress up if you wanted to. I'm still in my spirit just as you can see because after this we're going to watch dreams so i thought let's just have life easy let's wear comfortable stuff but i'm looking forward to seeing if anybody else has dressed up i feel like some people may have dressed up which would be lovely we've been told to go to the grand ballroom i can't remember the letter though but you can see there are quite quite a few people here i might have to ask somebody here's a sign for the evening gala grand finale fan event Times square and you can see quite a lot of people are waiting here so we're just trying to figure out what's going to happen and some people are dressed up anyway i think we are slowly but surely moving i am in awe of some people's beautiful outfits tonight hello how are you thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much thank you very much you can sit wherever you want i'll just i'll just follow i can go behind me if you want well we are at our beautiful table look at this look how beautifully it's presented this is so cute isn't it it's lovely we've got that little feature in the middle as well. Do you guys want to say hi to the vlog? Yeah. Hi. Hello, we've got Dominica hi. and Patrick here hi. with us as well. They're amazing. And this is what this place looks like. There's a lot of tables. It's very grand. I feel like we're going to be getting quite quite a bit of food. Look at that. Two two knives and two forks as well. It's going to be a full-on meal, I feel like. So yeah, it looks lovely. We're just going to wait and see how things go at the time. It's actually 7 p.m. now. It took a while to actually get in. But this is beautiful. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, merci d'accueillir les ambassadeurs de Disneyland Paris. Please welcome the Disneyland Paris ambassadors. Disney Dreams, alors soyez bien prêts et prêtes à la fin de la soirée. So okay, after well, this, we're going to be heading back to, eat, to so enjoy the food and we'll Disneyland see Park you for Disney Dreams. The main course of this event. We've got a, we've got a full on buffet, guys. Lord have mercy. <laughs> also, I've got some red wine. So, cheers. Oh, this is amazing. It's so cool to be in a room with so many Disney fans. Okay, the lighting here isn't the best, but um, that was such a lovely edit of this land Paris through the years since before it opened up until obviously 2021, just a couple of years ago. And they're now playing just like we dreamed there, which was from one of the parades from way back then. 
but it's amazing. I'm just like taking my time, taking it all in because it's such a, it just feels so nice to be here with a bunch of Disney fans appreciating Disneyland Paris. We all love this park, this resort at the end of the day. And it is just amazing. And the way they've laid out the tables, honestly, like, it's just, it's just so beautiful. There is also a bit of a queue at the moment for the buffet. That's another reason why I'm letting other people get, get their food first and then I'll go and show you the buffet. They're constantly playing these beautiful montages of Disneyland Paris. Of course, with a lovely 30th anniversary song as well. But this is the queue for the buffet on this side. There's also a queue on the other side. I think this one is probably more reasonable because I'm closest to it anyway. Okay, so we've got the buffet here. They've got some bread rolls here, some olive oil. I'm guessing some kind of dessert here. If you do have allergies, goat cheese, fresh goat, goat cheese, cappuccino. Oh, that looks quite good actually, to be fair. There's some salads. There's a lot. You can see the menu over there. Um, we'll see. I might just pick bits and bobs and then the hot food we're going to get to later on. Okay, so so far I've taken some salmon for myself um, and I think we're about to get to the hot section. Everything smells really delicious. This is just some vegetables, some carrots, etc. which I have picked up for myself a little bit. Here we've got chicken. It says it's kind of hard to read it, but you can see it over here. Uh, poultry with porous sauce. Oh my god, something is happening there. <laughs> this is a lot going on tonight, guys. I'm trying my best to vlog it, but who knows what is this we have mickey the not cheap party that sounds fun let's pick one of these up. Hi, everyone. thank you for being here i am absolutely thrilled to have all of you here with us tonight to celebrate this very special event dedicated to all those who love disneyland paris and the incredible stories that we bring to life in such unique and innovative ways. But we've also been hard at work to continue to innovate and expand with new attractions, new stories, characters, and adventures. I feel like and they the might announce something exciting today. Maybe Park. Lion King Land? And we'll see. Anticipated return of Disney Dreams, Woo! a fan favorite. Woo! show that guests will get to rediscover. I know that you have been awaiting the return of the show for a long time and let me tell you it will be more enthralling than ever with upgraded technology. We'll feature extra drone choreographies for an even more spectacular experience to celebrate the grand finale of our 30th anniversary. Exciting. This is very exciting. Hopefully the weather will hold up tonight. And across the resort, whether it comes to attractions, entertainment, food and beverage, merchandise, hotels, landscaping, digital services, anything you can think of, we strive to surprise and delight you every step of the way. This is the very first time that we have hosted a D23 event at Disneyland Paris. And I want to acknowledge and thank the incredible teams and cast and everyone here at the wonderful theme park for their warm hospitality and for making this an incredible experience for all of us. That was true in Disney Imagineering and it was true in the operating end of the business. Disneyland is the thing that I can keep molding and shaping. It's a three-dimensional thing to play with. Everyone is enthusiastic. I know all of you are very anxious to board the Nautilus. Our Imagineers have been incredibly busy refurbishing this iconic vessel inside and out, floor to ceiling, and we even took the chance to add a few special details. Okay, whilst that's going on on stage, actually about a small world, which I'm so excited about, it's opening up next month. I thought I'd show you some of the desserts that they've got going on here. Look at that, Hotel New York, Disney's Art of Marvel, this one's cute. They're all cute, look at that. This one's got flowers on it. Very cute, and actually, again, you can see a list of a menu of exactly what these desserts are. I'm probably just going to get myself a macaron, to be honest. And become Casa de Coco, Restaurante de la Familia. From this rendering here, you see guests will be greeted by a statue of Mariachi Miguel celebrating how proud his familia is of him. Two rooms have been especially redesigned by the Riveras. We have a music room where you'll be surrounded by all of Miguel's passions, and the familiar room where you will see all of Miguel's family. So probably the biggest news of Walt Disney Studios is the work that's happening behind the palisades. And we, we released earlier this year some of the early concept work for some of the beautiful gardens in LA. They're just like 
Merchandise, nos équipes artistiques et créatives sont en train de travailler euh, sur des gammes de produits qui vont célébrer tout simplement euh, le storytelling très fort euh, de nos attractions, le Hollywood Tower Hotel, Hyperspace Mountain et bien d'autres. J'entends des cris dans la salle. <rire> euh, tous ces produits, c'est vraiment du backstage qu'on vous offre ce soir. Des techniques théâtrales très traditionnelles, mais également des technologies parmi les plus innovantes au monde. Musical extraordinaire qui nous attend à partir de cet été dans le parc Walt Disney Studios. Le Disneyland Hotel, contrairement à l'Hôtel New York où c'était une célébration des héros, ici ce sera une célébration des histoires Disney, des histoires royales, des histoires iconiques de Disney. Royale à nouveau puisqu'elle est grandiose, elle est très élevée, avec des couleurs chaleureuses, des couleurs dorées. You can actually actually step out of the storybooks and come and meet all the guests of Disneyland Hotel for the ultimate surprise encounters. Tonight we are so, so, so delighted to reveal to you the first artwork that has been exclusively created in collaboration with Walt Disney Animation Studios. And as you can see, we've got two pieces of art that tell a story. Après tout, ça, c'est la France. After all, friends, this is France, and we couldn't leave you without one last entertaining surprise. So let the show begin. but the event, the gala dinner has finished now. We were here for about three hours, maybe even over three hours. The food was pretty good. Um, the entertainment was fun. I enjoyed the little show at the end. Look at all the people there behind me. We are all gonna be now heading over to the park again for Disney Dreams, starting in a, about an hour and a half, which I'm so excited about. I'm also a bit sleepy because you know when you eat quite a bit of food and you just kind of stay in the same place for a few hours, I had a glass of wine as well. But, Yeah, they did some announcements, hopefully we'll have seen them. I think the biggest one really is that Finta del Oro, one of my favorite quick service restaurants, is going to be turning into a cocoa-themed restaurant. Still quick service, but cocoa-themed. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it was a pretty lovely event. I particularly loved the, these things here on the tables. Some of them had the 30th uh, logo on them as well. This one doesn't. It was very cool. Anyway, we are now walking towards Disneyland Park again. You can see the beautiful fountains in front of the Disneyland Hotel. We actually learned quite a bit about Disneyland Hotel. At the Gala Dinner 2, saw some photos, a couple of new photos, most we had seen before, to be fair. But yeah, it's 10.15, which means we started 45 minutes. I feel like I'm so tired and just overwhelmed by everything that we've done today that I'm not really fully prepared for it. But I know that's going to be very special. Okay, so we have entered officially 
actually our little <laughs> private viewing area. You can see they've got this area barriered up. We had to show our lanyards here very clearly. I saw by the cast members. We're all very curious to see what the viewing area is going to actually look like. We have our spots now for Dreams. We've got about half an hour until it starts. We've got a pretty good view actually of the castle. It feels a bit surreal. Like, like I said, because it's been a very long day. I had about three hours sleep last night and we've done so much. I don't think I'll believe that Dreams is actually happening again until I see it for myself. But before we see Dreams, Disney Delight as well is going to have a new drone um, scenario situation going on. Something new, they announced it at the gala event. So we'll see if that works. Hopefully if the weather stays like this, they should be able to do so. But yeah, Disney Dreams. I cannot believe it. It's happening. 12th of April, 2023. Depuis 30 ans, Disneyland Paris accueille les rêveurs de tous les âges et du monde entier. Okay, well, because of some winds, Disney Delight wasn't able to perform properly with the drones. It's fine. Et maintenant, laissez-vous emporter dans le monde fantastique des rêves. And now, Disney dreams. Bienvenue à Paris, mon cher. La plus belle ville.
Lighters has just finished. You can see the cars are looking beautiful. They're playing um, this delight as well. Which is so weird to have the 30th anniversary song. It's kind of after Dreams. Dreams is such a nostalgic show for me. And it was so... It felt very weird to me actually. I thought I was going to react differently. The show is fantastic. It's a beautiful show. But it felt a bit weird at the same time. I can't really quite put my finger on to why. I am still very happy to see Dreams back though. And I think a lot of people are. It's um, not obviously a new show. The show, like I said, was debuted here in 2012. 11 years ago. It has been a while. I genuinely did think, and I still do, that the storytelling in Dreams is beautiful. The way it starts with Peter Pan's shadow, and then Wendy, and then the shadow gets lost, and Peter goes looking for the shadow, and then he it kind of goes through all these different stories. Everything just works so perfectly. And also, the projections are also done so, so well, in my opinion, with the castle, with this particular castle, the Sleeping Beauty castle in Disneyland Paris, not just any castle. This show was designed for Disneyland Paris and it works so well on this castle. The out there scene, uh, which of course is sung in French, Rien Qu'un Jour, is so beautiful. You know, the fireworks are minimalistic. And I think that's something that I noticed today because with uh, other shows that have come since Dreams in 2012, they they put more fireworks in them. With Happily Ever After, of course, it's Florida. They can do so much more fireworks. Even with uh, the show that we had here before, Illuminations, there was definitely more fireworks in that one than there is in Dreams. And I think I, you know, my my brain has just gotten used to seeing more fireworks. But at the core of it, I still think this show is better. And I think it doesn't need all those fireworks that uh, a lot of the U.S. parks uh, do. I think the show itself is so beautiful. But I do want to make a point of saying that, generally speaking, I think it's good to move forward as well. <laughs> do you know what I mean? For me, Disney Dreams is very special because I got to experience it 11 years ago and it's, it means a lot to me. And for a lot of Disneyland Paris fans, it does mean a lot. And I think it could easily, you know, attract a lot of new audiences who end up loving Dreams as well. But there's so much more that, that can be done with fireworks shows and nighttime shows now. So why not make something new, you know? Those are my thoughts. Um, I very much did not expect to react the way I did. I thought I was just going to be bawling my eyes out, like sobbing, be like, oh my god, I'm so glad Disney Dreams is back. And I didn't react that way. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm tired. Maybe if I watch it the next time, I will react differently. But I'm just trying to <laughs> convey to you my um, accurate thoughts at the moment. In any case, I had an amazing evening and I hope you enjoyed my monologue on uh, <laughs> Dreams. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little monologue on it. Um, I really just wanted to document it for myself because it's, a lot of you guys know that I love this show and I, yeah, I wanted to talk about how I felt watching it. I'm excited to see it again. Hopefully when the weather's a bit nicer as well, maybe with the drone show beforehand, I think it'll be nice to kind of have it all together. Some people are still taking photos with the beautiful castle, which you can kind of see down there. Uh, it has been a little rainy as well, but not too bad, thankfully. It didn't rain all night like I did yesterday for the last night of illuminations but look at the beautiful gazebo as well in case you're wondering the time is 23:45, so yeah, a quarter to midnight very soon it's going to be the next day oh look it's tomorrow leave a comment down below let me know if you know what that reference is um, but um yeah um I don't really know what else to say I think these were my thoughts I hope I managed to get them across well enough. A lot of it is nostalgic dreams. It's one of those things where this show was phenomenal in 2012, up until 2017. Is it past its shelf life? No. I don't think it is, but only just. So another few months until the end of this year, end of the, the 30th celebrations, I think it could do well. After that, the spark needs something new. It is the next day now, it's the 13th of April 2020, Three, which means that Disneyland Paris is now 31 years old and one day. We are currently in Walt Disney Studios Park. That's going to be where we're going to be spending most of our day today. Right now, I need to go to Him Kitchen because we've got a reservation there um, for lunch. And then after that, we've got a couple of um, like tours, imagineering, walkthrough things that I don't think I'm going to be able to film. But like I said, I'll talk about them as much as I can afterwards. Avengers Campus is looking pretty busy today on the 13th of April. A Pim's Kitchen is just over there. There's a buffet restaurant here in Disneyland Paris. I need to just go and find my group, my D23 group, and head on in. Anyway, we are at our table now. We've already done the drink orders. I love Pim Kitchens. Like the, the way it's laid out anyway, I think it's so well done. Look at all the fun uh, plate mats that they've got going on. And I think they'll probably be bringing a pretzel for the table as well. This is probably the longest table I've ever eaten at here. 
at Pim Kitchen. Normally it's just me or if I'm with a friend it's two of us. But of course we're here with a group today which is exciting. Because they've got my fried chicken wings that I absolutely loved on my first Pim Kitchen visit, so I'm definitely gonna get some of those. But uh, yeah, they've got those mini burgers too. I love it, it's just so fun this restaurant. Well, I am extremely pleased with my first plate. I've got the very famous blue mayonnaise, I've got the chicken wings, which was so good the first time. I hope they're gonna be just as good, the fried chicken wings. Got some spring rolls there as well that I enjoyed that first time. Got some jambalaya under that mini burger. Got some of the french fries from the kids section and there's some potatoes in there as well. It's quite a hefty plate actually. But um, yeah, this is Pim Kitchen. You've probably all seen my actual review of this from a while ago before. It is beautiful. I can't wait to go and eat this now. And I've got the chicken here. I'm just going to give it a taste test. I can confirm it's just as good as it used to be. Very delicious and I'm so glad it's back. I hope they just keep it on the menu. I know it's a buffet and things can change. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my huge plate. Now I think it's going to be my only plate. And I'm, I'm, I might get some desserts at the end. But we've only got an hour here anyway. Then we've got, like I said, the, a tour with an Imagineer of the Avengers campus. Which should be very interesting. Okay, well, Pim was good. I always eat so much at the kitchen. This is my third time here. And I think it'll be my favourite time actually. I mean, the food was good, the fact that they had those chicken wings. They're a little bit spicy as well, but they're so well done. Really, really nicely cooked into that in kitchen here. And we've now got about 15 minutes until our tour. And they're going to be giving us headsets as well, which is exciting. I've never worn headsets in Disneyland Paris before. So yeah, it should be interesting. Like I said, it's going to be an Imagineer leading the way, hopefully showing us around Avengers Campus, telling us all the details. I'm very much looking forward to it and I'll let you know what it's like afterwards. Gorgeous day today, by the way. Really lovely weather, spring weather here at Disneyland Paris. Our meeting spot is on the other side of Tower of Terror. Well, we are on the other side now and the group seems to be here. I think the tour should be starting in five minutes. Like I said, I'm probably not going to be able to show you anything until the tour is done. I'm here with the lovely Molly Mouse. Hi, She's how amazing. are you? If you want to watch some lovely German vlogs in Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, then you should definitely follow her. I'll leave the down below. You went to Auberge yesterday. Yeah. How was it? It was amazing. Uh, second, uh, my second favorite restaurant. Really? What's yeah. the first one? Downtown. Downtown is so good. <laughs> Downtown is great. But it was really lovely. I love the beef. So if you go there, I recommend definitely the beef. It's so... Um, um, not soft like what is it? Tender. Tender. Yes. That's the right Amazing. For. And you got to see Mulan. And she's Mulan. Really rarely there. We met six characters. Oh wow. Like Cinderella, Aurora, Snow White, Mulan okay. and the two miles, uh, Susie and Perla. Amazing. I'm yeah. glad that the mice are back because for yeah. a while they weren't. Well there you go. Are you excited about this Avengers campus tour? Yeah, we're going with an I'll show you any videos. No. So I can take pictures. So we'll we'll talk about we'll it later about and later. she will talk in her vlog as well. We've got our headsets. I think we're gonna be getting a bag. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so we are now out of the tour. Probably took about 45 minutes. It was really nice. Um, two lovely Imagineers, Lorraine and uh, Guillaume, French Imagineers. And it was quite nice to kind of walk through the campus, Avengers campus, and see the little touches, little details. Nothing too detailed, something new that I personally didn't know too much of, if I'm honest. But there were some, a couple of new things that was interesting. It was just a fun time anyway. They were both very, very lovely. So shout out to Lorraine and Guillaume, but we are now heading to Avengers Fight Force because apparently yesterday, 12th of April 2023, um, they added something new to it, a couple of new effects. There's been uh, rumours about that for a, for a while now, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Obviously, I probably won't be able to take you on the ride, but I'll let you know about it. Right, so we are off Avengers Flight Force, Avengers Assemble Flight Force, and there were definitely a couple of more screens. There was more to see, which is an improvement for sure. I really enjoy the ride anyway. It's so much fun just because of the track itself. But yeah, I noticed a couple of more screens, some more lights. Um, there are still some moments where it's just darkness, but maybe that's just a part of the ride. Maybe it's because you're flying and sometimes it does get dark. I do have this as well, by the way, to show you later on. This is a little small goodie bag with a couple of like postcards that they gave us before the Avengers campus tour with their Imaginees, Lorraine and Guillaume. But it's like, it's 2.40 now roughly. Exactly 2.40 actually. And um, we do have a private reservation area for Frozen, the invitation to the musical in this park. I'm not the biggest fan of that show. I feel like it is mainly catered for families and children. So I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna go to it. 
Instead, Moni and I, she's just over here, also doing a little vlog section on her Instagram. Um, we're going to go to Tower of Terror. We're going to use our Premier Access Pass that we have included in the D23 event to do Tower of Terror together, which is going to be exciting. Um, it's good to do some rides as well, just to kind of break up the day a little bit. We've done a lot of events, a lot of restaurants, a lot of food shows, things like that. Gala night last night. But I might even head to back to my hotel for a bit because I'm leaving tomorrow, so I want to pack because tonight is another very late one. We're going to be in this park until about quarter past midnight tonight. So, long day. Well, I am at my hotel room now. I'm actually staying at the Newport Bay only for tonight. Past two nights I've been staying at the Moxie Hotel, which I'll do a full room tour, maybe a hotel tour of that hotel at some point. Check out for that. That's an off-site hotel. Very good, my first time staying there. But in any case, I'm at the Newport Bay for tonight. And I'm going to spend the next few hours probably at the hotel just doing some editing because I've got loads of videos I need to put up and I haven't had the time to, you know, actually spend time editing because I've been in the parks, out and about doing some awesome experiences for the most part the past few days. But Tower of Terror first, let's talk about Tower of Terror. And yes, I am wearing my cute little Mickey hat. Um, Tower of Terror was amazing. Really, really good fun. I feel like we got one of the scariest sequences as well, but I feel like I almost always say that <laughs> no matter, you know, how many times I go on Tower of Terror, it's always scary in some ways. Here in Disneyland Paris, I do think we have the best one, at least compared to the one in Florida. Just my opinion. Although my, my friend Moni, uh, Moni Mouse, who I will leave her links down below if you want to check out her videos. She's really good in terms of obviously her Disneyland Paris knowledge is amazing, but also if you're an English speaking person watching this channel and want to learn some German or if you speak a little bit of German like I do then she's great to watch just to kind of get used to the idea of German whilst watching something that is something that you hopefully enjoy because it's Disneyland Paris content so I would definitely recommend her channel but yeah she said the same she's been to Florida as well and she said that she thinks the one in Paris Hollywood South of Terror is better we lolled a lot I love that ride it's one of her favorite rides as well so that was the last ride that we did my back hurts a bit guys I've been standing far too long the past few days but yes um before I bid you farewell for a couple of seconds for you it'll be like literally a couple of seconds for me it'll be a couple of hours because I do need to head back to the park later I was gonna go back for uh, making the magician but I don't think I'm gonna bother because that's literally in an hour's time and I want to make sure I've got time to edit a couple of videos I've seen making the magician plenty of times it's not gonna be my first time watching it but uh, later on for the fireworks we've got an another private viewing section for the Marvel show who knows whether the drones will go off or not at the moment currently the weather I don't know if you can see or not you probably can't and I do have a balcony by the way I've never had a balcony at uh, the Newport Bay Club before which is fun so uh, yeah there might even be a room tour of this room in particular as well so make sure you subscribe if you want to check that out coming up at some point <sighs> I've talked a lot haven't I I'm so sorry I'm so tired we've got the drone show drone slash fireworks show on Tower of Terror at 10 p.m. I think 10 30 and then after that we've got a couple of more things as well with the 23 so we've got um, walk through journey at Ratatouille the ride the attraction which I'm so excited about again we're going to be accompanied by an Imagineer who's literally gonna walk us through the ride we're not gonna actually go on the rides physically like we're not gonna sit on the vehicles I think we're just gonna go backstage or something I'm so excited about that I know for a fact that I'm not gonna be able to film that unfortunately because it's obviously gonna be backstage stuff but again I'm gonna try and tell you as much as I can about it afterwards and then after that we've got a dessert party until 12 30 midnight which um which is another reason why i'm here to just rest a little bit before that but i wanted to show you the couple of little gifts that we got as well in that little box before we had our avengers campus tour with a couple of imagineers so it's just postcards but they're very lovely this is obviously from web adventure we've got spider-man here's another one from avengers campus over here very fun and then this one which is, I think, the original artwork, one of the first artworks that we saw, um, concept art of Avengers Campus here in Disneyland Paris. Very, very cool. We do also have a couple of buttons, as the Americans call them, or pin badges, whatever you want to say. So this is one over here. Of course, they're all Avengers themed again, because it was an Avengers Campus tour. Um, there's another one here. This one just says Quinjet on it. We have an Avengers Tower one. Hopefully you can see it over here. And I love these little things. Buttons, I tend to just like attach to my clothes, sometimes my hats, etc. I think they're very fun and because they don't tend to be as heavy as pins, because they're not made of metal, generally speaking, um, yeah, I don't find them as heavy so it's easier to carry. Got another one, web 
Paris, Worldwide Engineering Brigade Paris. Very cool because obviously it's unique to Disneyland Paris and not the one in California. Another Marvel reference over here. And I'm pretty sure there might be one more. Yes, there is one last one. What does this one say? Best Friends Fist Pump. Okay, <laughs> look at this one. That's quite cute as well. But um, yeah, so altogether six pins, no, seven pins. Uh, three of these postcards and yeah. Now I'm just gonna <laughs> rest here for the next couple of hours before hopefully we'll get to go and watch the drone show. I feel like even if they don't manage to get the drones up, the show will still go on just with projections only, but I really want the drones to work because I love that show and it's only on for another month or so. So hopefully we'll be able to see that and then <laughs> It's so funny in the schedule, they're like, oh, this is the time for you to go and eat. You know, if you want dinner, go and eat because we've got vouchers for a quick service meal as well. But I ate so much at Pim Kitchen. I don't know if I've got the space to eat another meal now, especially because we've got a dessert party at Cheremi later on as well. So I did actually get myself a coffee on the way to Newport Bay from Starbucks. So that's filled me up a little bit. <laughs> we'll see how I feel later. In any case, I will see you when I'm back in the park. So, I am now back inside Walt Disney Studios Park, which is the park that we've been in for the majority of the day. Um, I decided not to bother with the drum show because I, it was raining quite badly. And I actually just asked a couple of cast members and they said, they confirmed that the drones didn't happen, which makes me feel bad for people who, you know, it's like a one-time trip here. A lot of Americans have been coming to this event, the D23 event, and both last night with the Dreams, oh, sorry, the uh, Disney D-Lite. Oh. Gosh, this coaster just went by um, an empty one because the park is closed. Yeah, the weather's just not been great for the drones. Obviously, I'm very lucky. I've seen the drone show a few times before and I'll get a chance to see it again sometime. Toy Story Playland again, completely empty. And so is Pastor Remy. I think the majority of the D23 people are just hanging around uh, by the area. Like I said, we've still got about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes until our tour starts. We're in Group B. But yeah, so weird. So weird to see this place so empty. In some ways, I don't actually like it. I prefer it when there's a hustle and bustle going on. It feels a bit too strange right now. If you do want to see the nighttime drone show here at Walt Disney Studios Park, by the way, the Marvel show that is only on until May, then I'm going to leave a link down below so you can check it out. I have seen it before, like I said, when the weather was better. So you can go and check it out if you want to. But um, yeah, the next thing, like I said, will be a little walkthrough backstage um, event of Ratatouille, the ride over here. So again, like I said, probably won't be able to show you anything. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to tell you much about it, but I guess I'll see you afterwards. So we've just collected our shoes. We apparently need to wear these shoe coverings over our actual shoes, if that makes sense, to kind of protect the attraction from it getting dirty. And we've got our headsets as well. We're just waiting um, kind of in the in-between area between Toy Story, Playland and Ratatouille now. Uh, group A has just gone in with the second group, but yeah, I'm gonna put these on now. I'm so excited about this, like this feels so just unique, this experience. Turn of events, we are now doing the dessert party first, so we are actually now at Bistrot Cheremi, at a table here with uh, Moni's just over there. <laughs> um, yeah, excited for some food. Um, I've got my shoes and stuff ready as you saw, we just put it on the floor. Thank you, I like copying you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's a bizarre feeling being um, at Beast Watch over me at 11 p.m. The park is closed, nobody outside, just us, the 23 people, chilling casually in this beautiful restaurant, one of my favorite restaurants at Disneyland Paris. Well, we've got our orange juices. <laughs> also, look how beautiful Moni looks tonight with the matching ears and the, the jacket. Like, it's just, she looks phenomenal. You need to follow her on Instagram, this girl. Fantastic, look at that, look at that. She's amazing. Look how quiet and peaceful and literally empty the restaurant looks. These are the famous booths that I've actually never eaten at. I think obviously booths are normally for larger parties. But yeah, this is a little dessert section over here. You can see all the desserts here. They even got a vegan one actually. A couple of vegans one, which is which is nice in case any of the group members are vegan. Obviously I'm not, but um, yeah. I think they have a couple of chocolate stuff. That one up there looks good. So I think I might pick one of those up. They've got some macarons too. So this is what I've taken so far. We've got the chocolate and macaron. We've got something over there that looks chocolatey. We've got this that looks very good. And this small thing. I really don't know what I've picked up. I'm not the biggest dessert person. Who knows if I'll end up liking this or not. But we'll give them all a go. But again, I wanted to just give you a look of how relaxing this restaurant feels when it's empty. It's easy for me as well because I can easily obviously show you the restaurant now without bothering anybody eating. Look at that. 
course we've got Chef Gusto here, right at the front. And then, yeah, these, this is the restaurant. This is the restaurant and you've got the ride, of course, at the very end, that's where the restaurant ends. Straight onto the ride, the attraction. This honestly, for me, feels quite surreal. I know it's very weird, but just being in this restaurant when no one's here apart from our small group, having a little dessert party, what more do you want? You guys know how much I appreciate this restaurant. And it's normally so busy. There's like crowds here, it's like very noisy. Now it's just this relaxing atmosphere. Like I said, at like half past 11 at night at this point. And it's just beautiful. I feel very lucky at the moment. I decided to copy Moni. <laughs> She's got a hot chocolate with her dessert. So I, I had to ask for a hot chocolate as well. Actually, Moni Mouse asked it for me because I felt really bad and she, yeah, anyway, we've got a hot chocolate as well now, we've got all these desserts, we'll see how they are, I'll let you know afterwards. Chocolate macaron? Very good actually, considering I'm not normally the biggest fan of macarons, this is good. I'm going to try a bit of this thing now. <laughs> I don't need it. Was it good? Oh, I think I've had, it's, it's meant to be some kind of Italian thing, I think this. I'm not sure the name, I've, it's like, I, I, I can't remember it, but let me know in the comments down below if you know what this is. Oh. It tastes alright, I prefer the macaron so far. The hot chocolate by the way, as you can imagine, phenomenal. Yeah. This is an entire hot chocolate is always... Very good. Guys, we are out of the attraction. Ratatouille, that was one of the coolest experiences of my life, one of the coolest Disney experiences of my life. The tour, the backstage tour took about half an hour. The Imagineer who guided us through was called Bjorn and he has so many cool facts. We obviously got to walk through every single scene, every single room. I mean, I, I can't even explain how amazing it felt. This is one of my favorite rides anyway. I was very lucky to be here in Disneyland Paris when this ride first opened in July of 2014 and I fell in love with it since then and to see so many of the details of the behind the scenes of it, the backstage facts, be able to walk through it, actually spend half an hour in like inside was just so cool and some of the facts really blew me away and now I've got such a even more of an appreciation actually for this attraction so I'll just share a couple of them for instance there's about 2200 leaves in that ride which is so cool there's a fish in one of the scenes which if you've, if you've ridden it you've, you probably would have seen it the fish weighs about 800 kilograms that's a lot there's also a piece of ham that one weighs something like 1.2 tons. That's a lot, that's, that's incredibly heavy. Well, at one point I was just kind of standing under it, listening up to our guide, and I was blown away. I was like, what if this, if, if this falls on me, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> Obviously it won't, because it's done so well. The Imagineers, the teamwork, everything that goes into building this ride, and any ride really at Disney is just insane. I have learned so many cool facts, and like I said, my appreciation for the attraction has gone even, even further, and I can't wait to ride it again at some point. It is an amazing ride, one of the best in Disneyland Paris, and yeah, at the end of the event, D23 event, we were also given a beautiful hardback uh, book of the art of Disneyland Paris. This book came out a few months ago. Absolutely love it, it's really heavy as well. Um, so yeah, that was a little nice present. I think it's, this is normally about 50 euros in itself, so pretty amazing. But yeah, what an amazing, amazing way to end the tour. I'm actually kind of glad that we got to do the tour last rather than have the dessert party last because it's just amazing and the Imagineer Bjorn is kind of currently just, there's a queue there you can see people are waiting to get their book signed which I might do as well anyway we've all got our books signed we are now slowly but surely leaving Place de Remy this is the book again look hardly anybody in front of us this is so so mad I think I'm going to do a quick recap when I go back to my hotel but for now <laughs> I'm just a very very happy Sam I'm a very tired Sam it is currently 12.30 p.m. and tomorrow's my last day so I need to obviously do some more packing tonight etc. There'll be more vlogs coming by the way from the hotel I'm staying at etc. but um, for now <laughs> what an amazing experience this just tonight especially that tour at El Matati reminded me why I love the Disney park so much and Disney just generally and we've got Buzz here chilling on his own basically welcoming people to a very empty, completely empty, I would say actually, Toy Story Playland right now. It is 1.25 a.m. in the morning on the 14th of April 2023. I am back in my room here at the 
gorgeous Newport Bay. Such an unexpected stay as well. I'm so glad to be staying actually on site tonight because the past couple of nights I've been off site. Um, so this is a nice treat. Um, and it's, it was very easy as well considering obviously we left the park so late. Um, you know, trans public transportation doesn't really run normally past like midnight. If you want to get the RER, it's a bit difficult. And then if I wasn't staying on site like I am, which I'm very, very lucky that I am, I probably would have had to get an Uber or something. So it all kind of worked out well, even though this was all quite a bit of a last minute situation. But we're here for the night and I think I've more or less said it all. But just to recap the D23 event, firstly, all the cast members, everyone that I spoke to were really lovely, very fantastic. They all tried their best to make the experience as good as possible and it really, really was. There were bits that I obviously enjoyed more than others. For me, as somebody who is a you know past annual, I've got an annual pass and I visit Disneyland Paris regularly, a lot of the things that, you know, they planned didn't interest me quite as much because I'm lucky that I've seen them all before. So I'm literally going to start getting ready for bed because I'm so tired. Is this okay? We're just going to have to deal with it. Yeah, some of the stuff obviously like watching the shows and and you know the fireworks etc. There are things that I've done before and it was great to have the option to go and see them again with a good view if I wanted to, but it wasn't a priority for me. Um, I'm glad I got to see Dreams last night from a great viewing spot. That was amazing. Very much appreciate that. That was kind of one of the reasons I wanted to book this experience. Um, and then the Ratatouille thing was really, for me, that was a cherry on top by all means. In fact, when I first saw um, this event happening with D23 because I've been a D23 member for a few years now for a couple of years I think it was 2021 that I became a member um, and I'd never really done any events with it because most of the events that D23 hosts are in the US and obviously I'm based in Europe in the UK this was their very first um, France French Disneyland Paris event and I really was curious to see what it's like and I thought everything about it uh, the price etc was reasonable for what they offered um, and like I said, for me, the highlight was definitely the <laughs> Ratatouille thing. But then, you know, the food was great. It was actually just really lovely to be in company with, of other people who love Disney so much, meet so many new people. I met loads of people from America, the US, other people from, you know, other countries in, in Europe, um, some people from the UK. I met some of you guys who watched the videos. It's just been a really nice couple of days, very much jam-packed, getting to experience both parks in a very different way than I'm used to. And... Yeah, I'd do it again if they organise an event like this again in Disneyland Paris. Maybe take us backstage on a different ride. Like, I'd love to see It's a Small World. I think that would be cool. Pirates, you know, the all these attractions that I love so much. I would love to have a similar experience with it I did with Ratatouille. Having said that, I think Ratatouille was a perfect choice of attraction because it's a bit, it's obviously newer than It's a Small World and Pirates. It uses so much modern technology with the use of screens and, and the trackless uh, ride itself. It was so cool to see the behind the scenes of it. Like, I cannot explain how... I was just geeking out listening to Bjorn talk about everything and seeing everything and just having the time to appreciate things. This ride that I've been on so many times over the past nine years and yet actually having the time to watch everything, you know? Because when you're on that ride, when you're on those rats, it just goes quickly. And it's an amazing experience, but you don't really get to see the details and how things work. And I, I love all that stuff, so... Oh my god, I am really tired. Thank you so much to everyone that I met actually over the past two days. It's been an honour. I loved chatting to you all. You made the experience better. Thank you to the people that hosted this event as well. And thank you to you guys for watching this. I hope it was coherent because you know I've been tired through most of it and obviously there's been so much going on sometimes I've not been able to film I've not been allowed to film some things I have been able to film so I've tried my best to make this as coherent of a vlog as possible but I do apologize if it's not the best please leave a comment down below let me know what you felt of the vlog if you have any constructive criticism I always like listening to you guys to improve my vlogs but um thank you so much for watching goodbye to the beautiful Newport Bay uh, I am gonna I have actually I'm in the process of doing a full vlog of this room tour etc so if you want to check that out make sure you subscribe that's probably going to come at some point because I didn't expect to be in this room especially with the balcony I don't know if I even mentioned it we have a balcony I have a balcony in this room so it's all gone very well for me for this final night that I have on this trip okay I'm done now <laughs> I've rambled a lot I don't know how long this video is but I appreciate you watching subscribe for more videos if you want to see more of my face and my rambles and Disney I guess follow me on Instagram and uh, yeah you can even follow me on Twitter and Facebook I've got all the links down below. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.